I'm Melanie. I'm Anna. And we'll try to keep a straight face. It's been quite the adventure trying to film this week. It has been. It, yes. We'll do a, another devotion mm -hmm. sometime about distractions. The, the devil's in the chicken. The devil's in the chicken. <laughs> the devil in the chicken. <sighs> I know. So um, we'll try to keep it together. Right. We're here this week to share our faith, our family, and God with you. And we've missed you. I've missed talking. I've been looking forward to this all week. Mm-hmm. And hard to get to it. We're in a different place. <laughs> Always. So. By the time this is over, you will have seen every room in both it's our true. houses. <laughs> Probably so. Exactly. So. Right. So one of the things that when we first started talking and felt the Lord's calling and nudging of to do this was that I wanted to be about how God is in everything, everyday life, mm -hmm. and how God speaks to us through yeah. everyday life. Right. I know I always thought, well, God's going to speak. Speak, you know, like an audible voice that I can hear. And that's not really how God speaks. He can, obviously. But most of the time, it's going to be a still, a still small, small voice. voice. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be in things that happen. You'll notice something will happen and you'll hear that little, uh-huh, mm -hmm. exactly. You know, this right. is what I'm trying to show you. And All so right. that's kind of what this is. Things would happen to one of us and we'd say, you know, this happened. And then God was like, uh-huh, you know, and... Right. And we would learn, I've learned a lot of really good lessons from it. So. Exactly. I can remember back as far as when I was 13, 14, 15 years old, working with my horses and my cows at that time. And use, the Lord using that as examples and as object lessons. I think people mm -hmm. learn really well. And they're yeah. able to hear really well. And, and remember. And remember. Yeah. That's key. In object lessons. Mm -hmm. And I, the Lord knew that I was hard to talk to. I was not a good listener. And so he would talk to me mm -hmm. in the things that happened in my life. And, and I remember those things. Yeah. That's good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm working on a sock. If you see me She's look down. She's knitting. I'm knitting. <laughs> I cooked supper. It helps me think. <clears throat> or yeah. it helps me focus. I mean. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So this so the week, little the little things, God speaks to us in the little things. So this week, on my mind, and brought to me over and over in different things, through things that my children did, and a little TV show. There's one TV show that I consistently watch. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I watch this one show, and I'll sit down at night when everybody's gone to bed, and I'll watch an episode of this little show. And... When I was watching it, it reminded me of my kids because the little girl, she wanted to be a trick rider. Not that my kids are trick riders, but, you know, in what she did. You've tried to make me a trick rider. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Stand on this barrel and I'm going to run by and get you. <laughs> well, you know, that's oh, well. a story for another yeah. day. <laughs> so this little girl on this show wanted to be a trick rider. And her parents said it was okay for her to take the lessons. But she had been taken for about a month or two and... They had auditions for this big group. And her teacher said, you're not ready to do this. Mm -hmm. You you haven't been taken long enough. You're really not old enough. You're not ready to be in this, this big group of performers. And she said, no, I'll prove to you that I can do it. And the teacher said, you're not ready. You can't do it. Well, the little girl decided to take it in her own hands. And she went to the barn, got on her trick pony, and decided to do a suicide fall. And so her pony's running around the arena. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first trick I'd pick. <laughs> in, a, in a suicide fall. And if her teacher hadn't come, you know, who knows what would have happened. Except that <laughs> cut, it's, cut. Exactly. Except that it's TV and not real. But the little girl was like, I was trying to prove to you that I can. But because... She did that. She lost, you know, she couldn't, she got kicked out of her classes and everything else mm -hmm. because she had tried to take it in her own hands. And as I was watching that, I felt the Lord kind of speak into my heart that that is exactly what we do. The harder we try to prove that we can do it, the more we really prove that we can. Mm -hmm. We try to prove we can do it on our own. We go, oh, well, God, hey, you can trust me and you can move me up because I can do this and I can do that and I can do this and mm -hmm. I can, and I'm trying to walk in love and I'm doing this on my own and I can do it, God. And God doesn't. Well, well God can see at that point in your heart, you really don't understand. You think you can, but you don't see how much you actually have to learn. And it's really a form of pride to think, oh, I can do it. I can do it. You know, like she thought, mm -hmm. oh, I can do it. I can do it. But she didn't see what her teacher saw. No, you know, the same way we don't teachers, see what God sees. Right. right. God's ways, yeah. the Bible says his ways are higher than our ways. Mm -hmm. And when we try to do that and do it on our own, 
even when it's a good thing, we get Sorry. ahead of God. And he has a different timing. And, I, you know, it's like the little girl. It wasn't that she couldn't be in it when she was ready. Yeah. And it wasn't that it was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. It was that she wasn't doing it the way that it needed to be done. She didn't have a good foundation. She didn't have a good foundation. Which is what we have to have. Because, you know, when you get into more responsibilities, especially mm -hmm. in the spiritual, you know, thinking of it, you know, as far as ministry or even the call that God has in your life, you're going to have to walk in grace and you're going to have to learn how to be wow. led. You're going to have to learn how to yield to that to grace. Yield. Right. Oh, and you're wow. not going to be... I can't. That was good. That was good. That's a. That was a. That was me. Yeah, that was for me. That yeah. Was for Jesus. Well, it's like you don't see now. You're not going to see things the same way, right. and you're going to face situations then that if it's like um, weightlifters, like if you go out and you try to lift 500 pounds, you can't. You start with five. It's just that it's the same way with faith. You build <laughs> or <your>, two, <laughs> right? You build your faith. You know, my faith may not be where it needs to be right now. Right. To walk out what I'm going to face. When I get where God wants me to be. Right. But God takes us in his timing. Right. And Down in the his right path. way mm -hmm. through situations that build our faith. Mm -hmm. Because I can't believe for a house if I can't believe for, for a parking a space. <laughs> right. You know, things like that. And God deals with me a lot and things like that. You said you heard a it's sermon a about. Oh, it is. Trusting. Yeah. It is. And I think, too, and this is backwards, really, that. God shows us or maybe speaks to us or puts a desire, a dream in our heart mm -hmm. of what his calling, like the ultimate calling is picture. for our life, the big picture. Mm -hmm. And we get a glimpse of that big picture and we want to go straight for that big picture. That's mm -hmm. me. You know, my, we talk about, you know, it would be great if someday we could adopt a child and I go, hey, let's build an orphanage because that's, <laughs> that's who I am. <laughs> what? There, there's got to be a. And in between, in yeah. but you have to go one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And when we get a picture, a glimpse of the big picture, sometimes I think we want to jump ahead of God's timing. I know I do because oh, we yeah. want to go for that big picture that we saw. But it's it's all the way through. The big picture may be here, and we're here, and you have to go. Boom, boom. You don't get to go. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I heard a person. Yeah, well, that was gonna be something else. But like the um, the Karate Kid, you know, he wanted to be a great martial artist. Art. Oh. Yeah, and he had him doing little things that trained him in little things. And even and though he, was he didn't bored. see it, yeah, he didn't know he was bored. Yeah, he and he thought this guy is an idiot. Yeah, this is going to be where I want to be. He followed through. You yeah. said you heard a sermon about ordering our steps. You were telling me about that before we started. Oh yeah. Well, and yeah, he was talking about how God orders our steps and that we're supposed that's a, that's to follow Psalms, Jesus. Isn't it? Yeah, well, Psalms twenty three. Good man are ordered by the Lord. Yeah, that too. Well, I was thinking he was talking about when we follow Jesus, and then he said, "What does the Bible say? Goodness and mercy follow us." Mm -hmm. But if we're not following Jesus, then goodness and mercy are not following us, and the Bible says that those things will overtake us. The blessings mm -hmm. of the Lord will. Over but if we're not in the right position, mm -hmm. you know, we'll be like, "Okay, Jesus, I'm going to follow you. Let's go this way." <laughs> right. And Jesus is like, "No, you follow me. You got to go that way." <laughs> Exactly. So the blessing me. is here. Yeah. And There's we're a blessing road. here. Right. We're we're going this way, but the blessing is this way. And everything you but need, we don't even know because we're not we're not with him. But everything you need is in that path that God has for you on that blessing road. And when we get off of it, you know, we're trying to make things happen out here, but we're not even supposed own. to be out here. Right. On if we own. were where God wanted us. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you get there? Well, my part yeah. in this is Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and all these and other his things. Righteousness. And his righteousness. His mm -hmm. way of doing things. That's what that means right there. Yeah. And all these other things will be added. So my job is, is to, to seek him. just seek him. The Bible says, and I'll have to look up the address of that, is <laughs> the Bible says that <laughs> you giggled and you made me lose my train of thought. Sorry. What was I talking about? Oh, you're talking about seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes. All these things will be added unto you, and that's my part. Yes, the Bible so. says that we are changed as we behold him. That means mm -hmm. all we have to do is look at him, see him. Well, how do we see him? Where is a picture of God? Jesus said, if you've seen me, if you've, you've heard my me. words, you've mm -hmm. seen the Father. So as we're in the word and we're reading the Bible every day, mm -hmm. and Every day, that's the thing. Yeah. And also, as we, as Romans 12 and 1, I have it right here, but I'll just kind of paraphrase it. It says, to bring yourselves as a living 
sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Well, that means to say, you know what? We have ability in this earth for God to use us. Mm -hmm. You know, God, God can't come down and like, we're his hands. We're the body of Christ. We're, he uses us. He uses us. He He chooses us to use us. yeah. Yeah. To minister to others. So when we present ourselves a living sacrifice, it's like, God, here is my ability. Here is what I have. And I'm giving it to you. You sacrifice your will. And your plan, you know, it's not about me. It's about what God wants. Even if it's a vision that God has given you, right. you still sacrifice that to him and God lead me in this. You know, and you're not seeking the vision. You're not seeking even the healing, the prosperity, the whatever. Right. If you'll you're quit looking for that, right. yeah, seek him. Seek right. him and seek his righteousness, his way of doing things and his way of being right, which the Bible says we've been made the righteousness of Christ. But that's something we have to receive by faith. But we're not even going to know until we get in the Word. Right. And we're, seek those, you know, and right. look for Him, you know. Right. That yeah. we're changed as we behold we get, Him. Right. Well, it's re- yeah, renewing your mind is right. changing it to be in line with His. It changes. Mm-hmm. Right. As we renew our minds mm-hmm. every day, then we will be transformed. Right. And we'll know the will of God. And then we'll be able to do that will of God. And as we do right. that, that is presenting ourselves. We'll be in obedience again. Mm-hmm. Presenting ourselves as that living sacrifice. Well, that's what the Bible says. We go from strength to strength. From glory to glory. Mm-hmm. It's things, progress, or what's it called? A progression. Mm-hmm. It's a progression of things. Yeah. So you start, I heard somebody talking about, you know, maybe somebody that wants to be healed. Uh, well, mm-hmm. this was actually a story that he had experienced there was a lady that wanted to be healed and she wanted to walk she was in a wheelchair and it wasn't working it wasn't working he said god quickened it in his spirit that she wasn't ready for that her faith was not to that point and so he said what can what can you believe for and she said i i I believe i can make my bed and it was you know a few days or whatever and she was able to make her bed and so through steps of believing for things and taking that step you know following the leading doing it god's way right not just I want to believe for that. My own. Right. Yeah. Because right. that was a good thing to be able to walk. Exactly. But it's taking those steps and building right. your faith. Right. Yeah. And we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that yeah, more another time. Sorry. But your faith is, no, I want to like go off on it now. Yeah. Because your faith is like a muscle yeah. and you have to exercise it. The Bible, even mm-hmm. I think in there somewhere where it talks about in the message Bible, about mm-hmm. exercising our faith. Yeah. You have to exercise it. We're all given a measure of faith. Mm-hmm. But we want to grow that faith. Yeah. So ultimately, you know, it's but important we want to, to follow trust. those steps. Right. It's important to trust God and the plan that he has, like the the trick rider. You know, she didn't necessarily trust her instructor. She thought she knew best. Oh, great. But I know it. I mean, you know. tell me. And you learn to trust by renewing your mind renewing and staying mind. in the word. But I did that yesterday. Yeah. Renewed my mind yesterday. Oh. <laughs> I did it today. I did it yesterday. <laughs> I know, but it's daily. It I yielded daily. myself as a sacrifice yesterday. Mm-hmm. Why am I having so much trouble today? It's, it's a daily a, thing. It's a daily thing. There was a time mm-hmm. where I thought, well, surely I will arrive at that time where I'm like there. And, but that's not how it goes. No. It's every single day. But you know, the more you seek God, the more you want. Because there is more the that's more revealed I to you. The more I seek you, the more I find you. Just yeah. like that song. Yeah, that's I think good. That's, it is. It is. Yeah. I know, I, and I'll end with this. There was a time where I, where I didn't have any children, and I was on bed rest. It was my first pregnancy, and I was on bed rest for months, and all I did, because I was so worried about my baby, I just read my Bible all the time, and that is all I did every day, and I hunger for those days now, but but I got to the point that if I missed, if I had to just read for five minutes or ten minutes, whereas I had been reading for half an hour or an hour at a time, I would be irritable because I needed yeah. my Bible. It does. It does. Well, well and it speak. says that it's medicine to our flesh. It's something that in a strong spirit will sustain you in physical mm-hmm. things. So you were building your spirit up and it was sustaining you. So it's um, almost like not eating real food. You know how your body starts to kind of, mm, your spirit can do that. That's your spirit gets right. weak. You know? I need to save all that. I get excited. Sorry. But, <laughs> I know. So we want to follow the steps. Don't get ahead of God. Yeah, renew your and mind. don't try to prove to God you can do it because you can't. God does not need people with special ability. Yeah. He needs people with availability. availability. Which is sacrificing. Presenting yourself a living sacrifice. Yourself renewing your mind sacrifice. and saying, God, I'll do it. I want to do it your way. And that can be hard, but you can do it. You yeah. can do this. <laughs> you can. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, 
have a great day and in all your walks walk in love and walk in faith mm -hmm. be blessed and have fun yeah bye, bye.